Yeah, let's roll. Oh man. Alright. I'm already excited. Lay on hands or quartermaster. Obviously if there's ever muster, you always pick it anyways. But that's a rare. It's obviously less good when you don't have muster. But even without, I think it's good enough. And like this might be too slow to impact anything. I'll choose quartermaster. War golem or hand of protection. Probably war golem. It's almost as good as Dr. Boom. A little bit worse. A lot worse. Amani Berserker or Raptor? This one's close also. Uh, I'd probably go Amani. I am also a Paladin, so slightly higher chance that gets buffed. Uh, Bluegill? Bluegill. Traga. Oh, where's Muster? Arcane Nullifier. The non-bad card. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, another epic. Ooh, this one's tough too. They're both good. Uh, I'll choose Hot Cog Hammer. It's a big impact. Especially with my early game. Harvest. And I think with uh, this, I can go with the Argin Protector. I've got a lot of early game. Avenge or Abusive? Probably Avenge. My guys will stick on the board. Though I do have a lot of uh, Divine Shield to make the Abusive Sergeant better. Avenge, though. Eh, this one is also kind of close. Guardian of Kings or Avenge number 2. This seems like a more aggressive deck. I doubt they'll need the healing. Because if I need the healing, I'll probably have lost. Dwarf. Busting a Might. I have two Shielded mini bots. Works better with the Divine Shield. Alright, another one of those. Crusher. Crusher. I do have two Avenges, but I already have so many two drops. One, two, three, four. Oh, only four. And this one's not really a two drop either. It's so good when this gets a secret. I think I have to pick it because I have two Avenge. Do I have any dragons? I do have one. Do I have any spells? Four. Cheap ones, too. That's a close one. Yeti Yeti! Cult Master. Oof, I really love that Cult Master in this deck. Uh, Twilight Drake is gonna be really bad in this one. Questing Adventure actually wouldn't have been bad. Uh, Organ Infiltrator to start on turn one. Direwolf Alpha is better, but I think Organ's really good. Especially since I have two Argent Protectors. Oh, Zombie Child's really good too. SHK. Third Argent Protector, Shattered, and Inequality. Okay, um, interesting. Alright, so good news, bad news. Well, we'll begin with the bad news. I didn't get any of the four mana cost Paladin cards. And so I didn't get a muster for battle with my Quartermaster. Uh, good news, this is a ruthlessly aggressive deck with two one drops and two Avenges, which can be played on one. I don't think I would keep an Avenge in my opening hand, though. And on two, I have a Money, a Mad Scientist, two Shielded Minibots, and a Blue Guild Warrior, and Seal of Light. Uh, this deck is going to grab the board control early, and then follow it up with like a Cog Hammer or a Shattered Sun Cleric, or one of three Argent Protectors, and then like try to cash in with Cult Master, Dark Iron Dwarf, Defender of Argus, and it has some late game, too. I think it's a really good deck. Um, it'll run out of steam sometimes. It has the potential to go 12, but I'm going to guess 10. I actually think it's quite good. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have any 4 drops, but I still think it's quite good. I will fight with honor. So, Just probably play this like I'm playing Face Paladin. No reason to clear the 1-1, one, one, right? He'll probably voluntarily hit it into one of my guys. Yeah, there is a reason. 
but it would require like coin kings, which isn't really that good right here. Okay, got rid of the coin. You have to use the true silver on a to a health minion. Good thing I have Argent Protector. Reporting for duty. Not a few of them. <laughs> Blessing of Might tends to be good if it can like work twice. Maybe I play the other Argent Protector also. That guy seems pretty good too. I'll do this face. Ready. Reporting for duty. Pass me that arc light spanner. Oh. Oh, looks like this is gonna hit more than twice. Go. Go. Come on, Draconid Crusher. Pay attention, class. I'm ready to learn. Hmm. Five, six, eight. I have to do some trading here. I actually have to do a lot of trading here. These trades are all too favorable. I have to kill one of these in order to avoid both of those going to that one. I'm running out of gas. Yeah, these two. Not on my watch. My seal for there are a few different permutations of Divine Shield and Taunt that I could have done. Uh, this seems like it's the most annoying based on the numbers he's got. Oh, man, that Stormwind Champion just changed the math in his favor a lot. Shields up. 
He knows. This came down to be pretty close. Used all of his uh, three blessing of mites pretty well. I think we're uh, finally getting to the end of the game. Retribution. Thank you. Justice demands retribution. I must move quickly. Do the crushers have large talents? Uh. Oh, Meek shall inherit. Easy quest. I will fight with honor. Justice demands retribution. Alright, if I just get another two drop, which is good. Actually, it doesn't matter. This is a good enough hand. I will just do one, two, three, four. Unless I get a better one or two. Well met. Well met. Probably end up Bluegill warrioring his face, since this probably kills what already plays. Probably. No, I will probably make a guy over Bluegill warrioring his face. Reporting for duty. Lens the sun well. Weapons ready. The battle. Get down. That's actually a tough call to think about whether or not to trigger noble sacrifice with a three-three or the one-one. There are uh, pros and cons to we both. Must cleanse the sun well. I think I just play the solid guy. Uh, there's no trades he can make that are too good. He can do 4-4 four, four into 3-2, three, 3-2 two, three, two into the 1-1. One, one. Be left with a 4-1 and a 3-1. Uh, that would actually be really annoying for me. As I don't want that to happen. I think I choose not to play around Consecration. The problem is Avenge makes that a 7-6. But if it's a 7-6, he just has a lot of guys. I mean, I have a lot of guys and he has one big guy. And that's not great for him. The battle! So I'm gonna just let myself get wiped out if he has consecration. The Nerubian egg was pretty strong. Ready to ride. All right, he's gonna try to race with this one uh, big guy against my small guys, and that seems reasonable. Squire, attend me. This is my response. And if I were to play a big enough guy like a 4-4, he would probably send a 7-6 in. Oh, but maybe not. Oh, but maybe yes. Oh, are you gonna just attack my face still? That's daring. Am I going to be the one to blink? I'm gonna do this. 11. Yeah, all right. He's Scott. I'll bite. Reporting for duty. 
Oh ho. Who you want me kill? Magic detected. Magic is not allowed here. I have a lot of mechs in this deck, don't I? Hmm, I could have considered Guy there. In fact, Guy was probably better than this because next turn on 8 mana, I play a 4 plus 2 plus a Guy again. So, the only thing I get as a bonus for playing this is I do like an extra 1 damage. Reporting for duty. Hmm, small things though. No, never mind. Next turn I'm just going to play both Yetis. As perfectly played. The game isn't going to last long enough for the guys to matter. Probably. Hmm. Oop, almost, uh... Took one extra damage. Oh, mad scientist. Is this too ambitious? Nah. Mm, might be. Eh, going first, though. It's fine. He kept his whole hand, though, so... It's really scary. If he coins out a 2-drop, I'm... Eh, if he coins out a 2-3, to be exact. Okay, that's not too bad. I can either choose to take the 6, or I can go with a faster play. But if I don't take the 6, that means I can uh, charge for 5 at a later time. Mm -hmm. Pretty good deal here. Have to make this play. Keep playing off curve, which is annoying, but you do what you got. Speaking of gotta do what you gotta, though, I could conceivably have sent the mad scientist into the totem. Both guys are at three attacks. They don't get, they don't get raging Morgan, but that's that's a bit too much risky, I think, for not enough benefit. Ready, sir. This cult master should be really good. Hmm. Ooh. It saves myself, um from that being a 6-1, but this already survived, so I'm gonna just take the 3 to the guy. There were uh, two major differences, like I could either have a 6-4 and a 2-2 right now, or I can have a 6-1 and a 1-1. A 6-4 and a 2-2 is stronger, but this one has more long-term potential. An adequate enough answer. And a 6 4 would have just taken the 4 1 there, it appears. Reporting for duty. Red alert. Not on my watch. We're in a not blessing of might here. The battle. Save it for some flexibility. Or I could have, like, uh, divine shielded it after, yes. Wow, Hex.
plan is five plus two. Actually, should have done this first because I would want the divine shield to go on after. Reporting for duty. I must move quickly. Oh man. I can fix anything. Something needs tinkering. Drool. Oh. The battle. This is my responsibility. The battle. For justice, the battle. <laughs> Reporting for duty. The fire lord. Oh. Always little time. Battle. Oh, that's good. I guess it's not necessary, though. I'm hooked on this valley, yeah. The valley is too much. I'm weeping. So I want to get another two, or a one. Oh, Money Berserker card, some cleric, is super good. Um, which one do I start out with? Probably Mini Bot. Now ah, Berserker. Berserker better against Guy. Minibot better against 3-2. Berserker about the same level of goodness against the 2-3. Hmm. Against Owl, Berserker better. Alright. I think the game already is over. That's how strong this deck is. You game the early game control, and then you have the, uh... Oh, never mind. Muster for battles occurred. If you played like a traditional 3-3 three, three there, I would have just won. Nope. Oh, that card is too strong. I wanted one of those in my deck. Why can't I get this? Alright. We actually have a tough game ahead of us. Muster for Battle is so good. Muster for Battle is ridiculous. I'm a little bit surprised I took it easy there. Maybe I should have Argent Protectored my 2-2 two, two again. Hmm. Didn't really want to play 
Yeah, never mind. I don't want a divine shield against a Light's Justice. Hmm, that guy is pointless against Light's Justice too. It's just a bunch of pointless in different directions. Oh my gosh. That deck though. Oh, two four. Well met. Okay, this game it turns out it wasn't over. I wonder. I am so first Well met. None of my buff cards managed to do anything. It's all about muster for battle. It's all about that light's justice. Oh light's justice is so good. Oh boy. Kings? Oh man. Okay, blessing wisdom. Buzzing Wisdom and Kings, that would be crushing. Don't do it. Alright, I think I'm actually still good here. Ugh, alright. He's out of stuff. The problem with my hand, though, is it's all support cards. The one damage currently doesn't do anything. Well met. Reporting for duty. We must cleanse the sun well. Shields up. Ready to ride. Face is the place. Thankfully I have my face stopper. What are we doing here? Oh, cool. One equals two against that board. And finally, um, the divine shield is actually going to matter a lot here. Since he no longer has cheap ways to kill it. Do I want to play Whirling Blades on anything? Um, what's he gonna do? Two, three, three, one, four, one. I do want to play the Whirling Blades, um, probably on this guy. It matters because next turn, uh, in order to play all the cards, it takes 8 mana. So I have to actually make the decision this turn, as opposed to just let it sit for a turn. Uh, I should have put it on the 2-3. No, because if he has Consecration, I lose anyways. No, I don't actually immediately lose. I should have put it on the 2-3. He doesn't have Consecration, fortunately. Ooh. Not their muster. Rigged. Reporting for duty. <laughs> I think I want to hit the 3 1. Let me think. 7, 10, 12, 14. If I had given the rolling blades here, I could have done that, but I hadn't assumed that that would work. The Avenge had a lot of RNG to it, too. Right, I should hit this. Or then justice. my uh, 7 5 might actually survive. Because he doesn't have enough to do 5. If we could, like, trade cards, that'd be so sick. I mean, I just want those two muster for battles so badly in this deck. I'll give him a, uh, what do I want to give him? Any card, really. Wow. 
Careful, monster. I'm so jelly. I'm one damage off lethal. That's lethal. Hooray. <laughs> Three muster, those are rares. That is like one of the best cards in Arena. On the non legendary spot, I guess. I think it might be the best rare in Arena. You asked for it. I will fight with honor. Well, this is the worst uh, opening I've ever had in this arena. With the deck I have, this is actually really, really unlikely to happen. This magic detected guy. If it gets avenged, that'll be really good. 5 7 taunt. Can't be targeted. What a beast. Oh, here we go. Does he have a plan? Uh, yeah, that's a plan. Kind of. I don't think I need to clear the uh, mech warper. Going for face is good because it activates Draconid. Uh, he goes down to 24. Hmm. Mm. I can't get him to 15 though because 24 and the 19, 17. Oh, it, yeah, it is actually 20. Uh, I hit him to exactly 15. If I play this and this. Nine twenty-four, Dragon Dude Crusher. The setup, the plot. Oops, should have put this guy here for Kunar Code. Yep. He's like, oh, I can't do that. No. It's time for him to get crushed. Look at that setup. Wow, that's so good. Although, to be fair, most people would have accidentally set it up anyways. Wow. It's alright. Now Dr. Boom Light doesn't get sheeped. I was actually gonna clear this, but now I kind of want to go face. This is my weapon ready. What's gotten over me? Does dingo? Yes. And that's lethal. Thank you.